Okay, so it's been a couple of days since Apple released iOS 16.3, and I wanted to share with you guys a few details in regards to iOS 16.3 and other software updates that you may not know about. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now as i mentioned iOS 16.3 is now out i'm sure a lot of you guys have updated your devices but in case you didn't know apple has also updated older devices apple has backtracked a good seven eight nine year old devices and updated those as well so for example if you have an iphone or an ipad that does not support ios 16 apple has also released a new software update for you as well so let's go into general software update and now we see ios 15.7.3 now this all ties together and i'll explain why apple Apple released iOS 15.7.3 alongside 16.3. Now, for those of you that have an older, older device like iOS 12 device, iPhone or iPad, Apple also released a software update for you guys as well, iOS 12.5.7. Now, I explain what's new and what's changed and why Apple released these new software updates for older devices in just a few seconds. But I want to shift my attention quickly to AirPods. I do have a dedicated video on the latest AirPods firmware update. In case you didn't catch that, links will be in the description a lot of improvements and changes for the third second generation and also improvements for airpods max which i really really dig and really love what's happening here but i did want to mention this is a question i continue to get did apple release a new firmware update for airpods pro second generation and the answer to that is no, you're not the only one. Apple updated basically all the AirPods. AirPods second, third generation, AirPods Max, AirPods Pro first generation. The only AirPods that did not get the latest update was AirPods Pro second generation. The AirPods Pro second generation firmware sits at 5B58, when the AirPods Pro first generation sit at 5B59, which is the latest alongside the AirPods second, third, and the AirPods Max, as you can see right there. So yeah, the AirPods Pro second generation, for whatever reason, did not receive the latest firmware update from apple and yeah you're not alone if you're asking me about this i'm not sure the reason why apple didn't update the airpods pro second gen but every other airpods did receive an update next i want to shift my attention over to the home pods now there is a new software update for home pods so home pod os 16.3 is now available for those of you who are running the latest ios 16.3 and if you go into the home application right here you should see this right here populate you can see more details and expand on these details here you see the new temperature and humidity sensors have been enabled on HomePod, which is kind of interesting to see. Apple has finally updated those. Improvements to Find My, also improvements to audio tuning options and things like that, optimizations. So yeah, a new HomePod update is available, HomePod OS 16.3, and you can find out more if you go into the Home application. If you don't see this platter here, you can tap on these three dots, go into Home Settings, and then scroll down, and you should find Software Updates. If it says 16.3, then you're good. If you see this update here, you may want to update for the latest improvements for your HomePods as well. Now, last but not least, I would like to shift my attention over to security, which ties everything together. The reason Apple updated 9 to 8 to 7-year-old devices with iOS 15, iOS 12 updates, and iOS 16 is because a lot of security issues within the operating system. But I'm happy to see that Apple continues to support older devices. I guess they realize a lot of people use these devices either for FaceTime calls, listening to music, playing games, whatever it is, Apple continues to support older devices, which I'm super happy to see. Now, there's over 30 13 issues within the software operating systems for the iPhone, iOS 12, 13, 14, 15, and iOS 16, which Apple has just released a patch for. Over 13 security vulnerabilities have been patched, as you can see right there. This is about security content of iOS 16.3 and iPadOS 16.3, so you can see right there. All these issues have been resolved with the latest patches for the latest iPhones and iPad software updates. So yeah, big props to Apple for fixing a lot of these issues even on older devices. And those are just a few things that I wanted to share with you guys in regards to iOS 16 and other softwares that you may not know about. iOS 16.3, again, currently being tested. Stay tuned for my follow-up video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.